Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another video of the day. And today's video is a tutorial somewhat and a review of the Cloud Alley's Microsoft 365 backup products. And today I'm featuring Microsoft Exchange. If you're like many of my clients, when I ask, is your data backed up? They always go, yeah, it's in the cloud. And in today's world, you can't assume that the cloud is a safe place because servers can get breached and you can get hacked and things like that. So to get an affordable backup product um, is something you can purchase yourself and through your IT department, it's highly recommended. So in this video today, I'm going to cover everything you need to know to set it up yourself. And the Cloud Alley product um, does, or excuse me, the Cloud Alley's 365 products includes SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive. So all that data gets backed up as well. They also sell other backup products for Dropbox and Google Workspace, and I might do some videos on that later. But anyway, back to this video, I'm going to be starting it here in a minute. Um, just remember that it can also do IMAP accounts for any IMAP, so that's awesome. And it does do the Exchange Online Archives, and which is called In-Place Archive. And it also does incremental changes, and it stores it forever. So let's get started with the video. All right, folks, before we get started, just remember that this is not a full-blown tutorial on how to use the product. It's a review, but during the review, I will cover the setup and scheduling a backup and how to restore it as part of the review. So you might learn a little bit here. First thing I want you to do, though, is come up to the address bar and type cloudally.com. And then once you're here, you can come over to the free trial button. And over here now, you can type in your name. Oops, caps lock wrong. <laughs> here we go. All right, and then pick your area. Now the sign up here literally took a minute, not even, and then you get the email activation pretty instantly. So I'll be back in one second here. So that activation took about 10 seconds, which was really nice. I like that fast here. And now we're logged in. So the setup for the free trial took what, 10 seconds, 15, <laughs> and the activation didn't take very long either. So this is a good sign. You don't have to wait. You can do this yourself. And as you can see, it takes us right to your 365 Microsoft account. You can tell by the address up here. And come down here and put in your password. And hit sign in. And it's going to authenticate if you have security set up. I'm going to hit text. And now we're setting this up. Let's see, 551, There we go. So now this is going to connect with the uh, little pop-up. You're going to see it here. It gives, uh, like, it allows them access to get into the account so they can run the backup schedule. There we go. So now, a lot of this over here, the review, this is all covered in the tutorial. So we're just going to jump down to the mailboxes down here. And I'm going to click that button right there. And uh, not that one, but right here, we're going to activate it. Took, I don't know, not very long, I'll tell you that. And I really like that about these cloud-based products. Everything is set up pretty nice. Now we can come over here and it will let us... Uh, back up now. There we go. So now I personally don't keep a lot of email on my server. I really like to keep it tidy because I'm an email expert. So hopefully this won't take too long. But if you happen to have a lot of data, it might take a long time. So you're going to want to come back and check on that. But um, I could tell you that uh, this here is where you're going to watch these events in this area right here. And when it's done, oh, there it starts. There's the status. So if you have a large mailbox, this might take, you know, quite a while, but that's typical on the first run of any backup product. So right now, just to kind of add to the review that the setup was simple, the activation was quick, and to schedule our first backup literally did not take long at all. So, I mean, to give yourself two, three minutes maybe to get this done is probably all you need. I would say that that's nice and uh, quick for a backup program. 
and there's no download, um, no download of the program. It doesn't run off your computer. So that's nice. It's cloud-based and it will back up everything um, that's in all of your 365 accounts. So another thing I like about this product is it does give you a 14-day trial so you can sign up and get your schedule going and see how you like it. Once this is done backing up, I will delete a folder in my Outlook so you can see and then we'll restore it because when you're dealing with 365 and it being a cloud-based product, you definitely want to have a backups for this account because Microsoft by default does not back up your email. They have you know restoration options and things like that, version history. But but frankly, if your comp you know if your company got compromised or you had an employee theft or something, then it's much easier to come to a product like this and get your backup. So while that's uh, still down there in the status bar rolling, let's come over here to the sidebar and do a review of the options on the side, which some folks call this the blade now on online products. But here's your homepage. It's just showing us what we're doing here. Kind of a um, little, it's awaiting the first run. And over here's the jobs. And you can see I don't have really any in progress or that's past jobs rather. And here's recovery, which we don't have one yet, so we can't do anything. But it's, uh, we'll be there when we're ready. Here's your billing area. So once your 14 day trial is over, you will get an email, I'm assuming, <laughs> and make sure you pay it. And then you can come over here and look at your plans. And then here's your activity button, which I haven't uh, delved into yet. We will do it after my first uh, backup is completed. And we'll look at this also. And then down here is just some settings, basic things. If you were the manager of a large account, you'd probably see a lot more than just me because it's just me here. But uh, I don't think we're going to have to do a lot in this area. Uh, you will probably want to set up security just so other people can't log into your account because it's, remember, it's not on the Microsoft servers. It's a third party. So you do want to have that secured. And we'll review that later as well. But for now, we're going to come back to the home page. So there we go. Pretty simple portal, pretty simple setup. Um, there's a lot of other options to configure, I'm sure. But for me, this is, you know, just once and done. And um, so I will be back after this is fully completed and we will do a restore of a folder. All right, folks, I'm back for part two of the video. I did give it about a week because I wanted to test a couple things before I could come back. But uh, let's start over here with the home page. And then down here is the scheduled task for my exchange backup. Over here, you can see I've had successful backups. I did receive emails telling me if they were successful, so that was great. And you might want to put that on your schedule to check that every so often. And then over here is the backup size. I have about one gig of my mailbox backed up, and that's about what I have on the server. And I did a quick backup 45 minutes ago. So that shows right there when the last backup was made. Over here in the actions is recovery and then pause and then backup now. And you can click the drop down arrow and come see what was backed up. 10,000 emails, 17,000 calendars. You can see everything down here. So to me, this is a simple portal. Looks good and everything's working great. All right, to set up your security, just come over to the settings here on the left-hand panel and then come over to security. And we're gonna be activating with 2FA. For the most part, these are for managed service providers or your IT department. If you're like me and just have one mailbox, you're just gonna to wanna to click right there. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to your phone and download the Google Authenticator app. And once you have it installed, there's an option to scan a QR code, which we're gonna do right now. You can't see it, but I have my phone. And then I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna go put in the code here and hit verify. So that was pretty simple to do to secure your account. You definitely wanna have two-step on for this, like you do your Microsoft 365 accounts as well. All right, so now let's work on restoring some data. A uh, reminder, you want to come up to the home page and then to your scheduled backups. And then over here, we're going to go hit uh, recovery. And for the most part, you don't need to do a full mailbox recovery if you're just trying to restore a folder or some emails that you 
um, mistakenly deleted or need to restore whatever, come down to selective mailbox. And this is going to open up now what looks like a you know duplication of your Microsoft email folders. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and expand that out. And you can see I've got um, a few folders there. But the folder I want to restore is supposed to be underneath the inbox. It has three at symbols with the word test. They are not there because I've done some changes since last week. And remember, I did it a week ago. So we're going to come over here to the date and we're going to pick, let's say, the 8th. Just, you know, a couple days after because I maybe was like, oh, no, I didn't mean to delete those. And we confirm it. Now, remember, folks, that anything you delete in your exchange account should go to deleted items by default, okay? But sometimes people empty their deleted items, so this is where you'd want to go and restore a backup of that. So now we've got the date up here. That's the backup time, and I'm going to select this, and there is the test folder, okay? So I'm going to stop for a second, and I'm going to show you my Outlook, what it looks like now, and then I'm going to hit the Restore button. Okay, so here's my Outlook without that uh, test folder right there. And I'm going to stop again and restore it. So we're going to come over here. And over here's the Restore. So now um, just says the email's there, Restore to the original account, and hit Next. And we're going to hit Restore. So this can take a little bit of time. It's not instant because it has to go through the server and cycle through and all that. So even though it says it succeeded there, I'm going to come over to the jobs tab up here. And this is where you can see it's pending. Okay. So if I only had a couple emails in there, so this should really not take long at all. In fact, I'm not even going to pause the video. I'm going to take a minute and tell you a few other things while it's doing it. But if you had a lot of emails, this will just probably sit and pen for quite a while until it's all done. Just a reminder, while I'm doing this restore here, and it's um, actually moved from a pending state to doing the restore, I'm sure. Just remember to add um, the Cloud Alley to your emails that you read every day. A lot of my clients, you know, if they see too much repetitive, they don't uh, open the emails. But Cloud Alley will also send you a bill, so you want to make sure you pay that. And even if you don't check the, um, even if you don't check the the status every day, make sure you put it on your calendar to do it at least once a week because, you know, backup is only good as uh, you verifying it working. Okay, so now it's succeeded. So now I'm going to go open up my Outlook and that folder, uh, you can see it right here, has been restored. That was it right there. So to me, this was a simple restore of a, you know, of a folder that just had a few emails. If you had one that had you know, loads and loads of emails, you would definitely want to um, just give it time. It'll it'll do its job here. But I like that it's also marked under a folder called restored emails. So if you had to move it back up to your exchange, you could just right click and move it yourself. And now I'm going to come down to the support options and uh, just show you quick here how this works. You could submit a ticket if it's not urgent. You know how tickets are. Someone has to be assigned it and then they email you back and everything. You can also call and you can do the chat button or you can just send an email too. So it looks like there's plenty of options here. Um, I kind of, you know, right now I'm just going to hit this chat button just to kind of see, I'm going to do support. I'm not going to put a phone number in. I'm just going to put, uh, um, just for an example, I'd like training, training on how to restore. We start folders. Let's just see what they say. Now I'm going to keep this rolling. One position in the queue. That's good. And, you know, I've already shown you kind of how to do it. So it's really not much in the training. I don't think that you'd need, but uh, let's just see what uh, their support agent says. Looks like they're very responsive. That's good. So I asked the question, I'd like training on how to restore folders, which I already showed you what how I would do it just based upon the, you know, what I found there. But they actually gave me another option, which is interesting. For exchange recovery, please go to the recovery section, then click exchange backup. So let's come over here. And right here's the recovery. 
And then there's the exchange. And then it says select mailbox to recover, then via snapshot option, continue to drill down each snapshot. So I think um, we have to click on the action here. Via snapshot from backup or a date. And oh, via item search. Whoa. Well, this is interesting. I haven't done an item search before, so this must be pretty in-depth. Okay, so I just figured I would just search for the word LinkedIn. That's pretty standard. Let's go continue. And oh my, this is nice. <laughs> it, yeah, I found lots of things in here. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm glad I asked support that because I totally just found a, a whole nother thing here about searching for keywords I wasn't aware of. I'm going to tell him, very cool feature. Thanks for letting me know. So now we have two things that we can do to restore data. One is come over here to the recovery and we can come over to this recovery and go to this mailbox there and the uh, snapshots. And we can via item search, which I think this is neat. I didn't even know about that. Well, anyway, all right, so we're gonna get back to the homepage here and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. Let me stop the screen share real quick. All right, I'm back. So anyway, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 612-865-4475 or email me lisa at callthatgirl.biz. And there's links in the description to set it up yourself and contact me there. See you in the next video.